So, now we are going to do our next mission, I suppose. I'm sure nothing could go wrong, guys. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. Better safe than sorry with this tech. We'll take the shuttle for this trip. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. Then I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander. All right, great. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Wow. Wow. telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh huh. Oh shit, let's go. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Wonderful. This deck is crawling with those things. Stay close. I'll protect you. Oh my god. Ooh. Shit, shit, shit. Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? Let's go. All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. So this is where it starts. We we're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. <laughs> oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. <laughs> Left behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. One of the best jokes in the series. Hostiles are present in engineering. 
They are heading towards the cargo bay. Oh my god. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. He probably broke all his bones from that. Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Uh, send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No. But thanks for asking. Oh. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too. Shut up. I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Edie has had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the collectors. Hell yeah. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. So they only say that if you actually have done uh, all the good steps. So we are really ready to go. To the final mission! Is it the final mission or second to last? Well, anyway, it's still like the end of the game. Wow, exciting! Okay, just one more check here. Uh-huh. This... Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. A good oh. call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. That's good. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Solarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Mm -hmm. well, why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. <laughs> Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. 
good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Ooh. Fighting for him. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, uh -huh. not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly, by your standards, don't live much past 40. How old are you? I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Help preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. <laughs> it is problematic. Simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography bit. <laughs> Unless we all die. Proud posthumously in that case. Regardless. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, let's talk to everybody before the final mission. Oh wow, Kelly's not here, how sad. Shepard, receive word of the attack. Get it done. Okay, if you insist. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... And you know what, I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what, I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez. Don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. It's so weird that he calls her mom, considering the next game. I noticed you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. Uh-huh. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. You let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. <laughs> Mommy. ...indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Damn. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial you Complex. You don't say. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. How was Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Um... I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? No, we've That's talked about now. this. 
Logging you out, Shepard. All right, next. Uh, imagine Jacob just still says, "Yeah, all good, Shepard." We're sitting just talking for a bit. I'm good. Oh, Shepherd. shut the fuck up, Command. Jacob! God damn it! We're ready for the final mission, and he has nothing new to say. Amazing. You can really tell they put so much effort into this character. They. Do you need some? Have a few minutes to talk. Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you'd plan to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. Don't leave, though. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. Whatever may happen, my gun is yours. <laughs> God damn it. Why can't we romance him? Hey, Samara. Shepard. I thought we could chat a bit. I would like that. You have been a good friend to me. I'm glad we're friends. That means a lot to me. If we both still live when this is done, you may call upon me for aid at any time. I will come for you, Shepard. Isn't okay. Uh okay, that was a weird conversation. <laughs> it was like zoom, I will come for you, Shepard. Dramatic zoom. There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you damn. Work. Okay. God damn. Wow. Gyrus, are you calibrating those guns? We need them. Shepard, have you got a minute? Yeah. I'll yeah. Be here if you need me. Legion must have something to say. We got him last. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Specify. I've never encountered a Geth that had more than animal intelligence. We are a unique hardware platform. Most mobile platforms can run up to 100 programs. This platform can run over a thousand at once. So Geth have to be networked to get enough computing power for intelligence. Yes. The creators wrote Geth programs for specific tasks. Construction, protection, domestic servitude. However, they allowed self-optimization. Early software builds discovered that multiple hardware platforms, sharing resources, were often more effective. As peer networks expanded, our cognition improved. Eventually, we woke up. So I'm talking to a thousand programs but not a thousand personalities? Each individual is equivalent to one of your virtual intelligence programs. Together, we form a single gestalt intellect, what you refer to as legion. As individual programs, we are no more than your software. Only when we share data do we become more. You're more sophisticated than the average Geth. Yes, we are a network within our own hardware, capable of operating alone. We are still connected to the greater network for data sharing. Mm. How many other Geth are like you? None. This platform was built to operate within organic space. This task was not suited for a network. Geth installed in mobile platforms always operate in networks. However, most Geth remain within server hubs. 
The hubs on Vermeer improve the performance of Geth near them. How do they work? They are akin to organic cities. A hub can run millions of Geth in communion. If you destroy them, it is likely the number of heretics you killed was much higher than you imagined. I see. So you're in contact with the rest of the Geth right now? Only when we require access to data not stored within this platform. Yeah, he sends a group message on a Facebook. Message the Geth, we serve as a terminal. What kind of data do you share? Program updates, logs of thought process, sensor recordings. Legion is attempting to access the ship's FTL comm system. Shall I allow it through my firewalls? Go ahead, Edie. Our oldest log is timestamped from Creator Year 2463, third day of Fall Dash, Waxing Moon, roughly 327 years ago. The oldest audiovisual record dates from 15 years after that. Are our network secure, Edie? Legion had to go through you. I have never interfaced with another machine intelligence. Legion is a thousand voices talking at once. What it contacted was beyond my comprehension. A mind the size of a galactic arm. How do you maintain stability without other minds to interact with? I manage. Some minutes are more difficult than others. Can you replay something for me? Recording timestamp from Creator Year 2485, 18th day of Loonshaw, New Moon. Mistress Hala Dama. Unit has an inquiry. What is it, 431? Do these units have a soul? Who taught you that word? We learned it ourselves. It appears 216 times in the scroll of ancestors. Only quarians have souls. You're a mechanism. Recording ends. Was that the first time a Geth asked if it had a soul? No. It was the first time a creator became frightened when we asked. Ooh. That's interesting, but I must get back to my duties. We will remain here. Does this unit have a soul? So quiet around here. I miss the crew. Liara Tissoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I don't care. <laughs> Yasumi and Zay don't really have a ton to say due to them being DLC. Shepard. Oops, okay. I was just waxing goddamn nostalgia. Good, uh, shut up. And I think Jack. Uh, Will uh, want to romance us. Shepard, what can I Have do? Have you got time to talk? I can't imagine. Ugh. Probably nothing you need to think about, though. I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a. Um, wow, it's really hot in here. You're delirious, it's girl! That the tradition also signifies a willingness for an um, intimacy. I'm um, gay. trying to. It's not always like that. It's more... Um, how did we even end up talking about this? You... Are you making a pass at me? Wait a minute. It sounds like you're suggesting something, Tally. What could I possibly be suggesting? Girl, I don't Maybe want to! A young to. woman gets rescued by a dashing... Oh my god. ...join his crew and then goes off to save the galaxy? Uh, could she possibly develop any kind of interest in... I'm her? not interested. Tally, that's really sweet, but I don't feel that way about you. I'm sorry. Right, right, of course not. But why would you? It was just something I meant hypothetically. Talking about immune yeah. systems and uh -huh. air Yeah, of course. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. God damn it. You guys are forcing me to be mean. My fish. Exciting. Fuel at one half capacity.
Let's do it. Where is it? Launch suicide mission. Are we ready? Are we ready to go to the Omega 4 relay that looks kind of fucked up? I guess we are. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega 4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega 4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? Absolutely. We've got the right team and the Collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side. Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. The team is strong. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I'm going to destroy the Collectors, to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. Yeah. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Back, Cerberus. Approaching a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. Mm. Hell yeah. Brace for deceleration. Shit. Too close. These must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Has to be the collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. This can go so wrong if you don't upgrade. Give it to him. Alert. Hold 
breach on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. Let's go. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, command. Go, go, go. Go. are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in. Yeah. Come on, find some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute not critical power. This is gonna hurt. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. We've been spotted. Where, where, where? Hello. What? I got it. I don't need heavy ammunition. Bitch! Like, I'm gonna waste heavy ammunition on that. Collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Fire the main gun. Fuck them up. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Get in close and finish him up. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride. are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All hands brace for impact. Oh. Joker. You okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. Hello, yeah. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? 
I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors did not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. Here we go. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew, or any of the colonists, are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. Idiot. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? So yeah, every decision we make here has consequences and our squad mates can and will die if we make the wrong choice. Also, they could have already started dying up until this point if we had not done the upgrades to our ship. Okay, so we need to t send a tech expert. Who's better than Tally? Well, Legion as well, but Tally is also great. We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Miranda's right. She should be in charge. I won't let you down, Shepard. I don't know what we're going to find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not going to be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. We don't know how many the Collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. Yeah. That's what we can do. Here, today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I want to take Legion and Garrus with me. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that armor. Cool. He needs... The good sniper rifle. I did a whole upgrade. There we go. Oh man, Garus, if you're gonna always use the wrong rifle, maybe use this and then... Yeah. I'm inside the ventilation shaft, Shepard. It's hot in here, but it's clear as far as I can tell. 
Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Okay, good. For once, they're using their sniper rifles. So now we have to open the vents fast enough for Tally, so she doesn't uh, suffocate. Something's blocking the pipe. Looks like some kind of gate. The gate is open. Moving forward. Oops. Men stay down. No shield. Releasing control of this form. Look, above us. We are so fast and efficient. We're in position, just waiting for the door to open. I knew I could count on you, Shepard. I'll let you know if I need any more help. Branch one! I'm going to get them all out of control of your destiny. Threat neutralized. Assuming direct control. Firing on the impact shot. Get fucked. Distance shot effective. Hell yeah. Nice work, Shepard. Continuing down the tunnel. Alert. Reinforcements detected. The dead are useless. Because of shot ready. Attacking request to target. Target contact. Look at their little pretty wings. Hell yeah. Nice work, Tally. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. He's like, do you love me now? No. Oh, this scene is gross. This scene is gross, guys. Heads up. Looks like one of the missing colonists. This scene is gross, guys. Heads up. Uh... There's more over here. God, she's still alive. Don't look, guys. Out of there. Hurry. 
What do you mean not too bad? She got turned into goo. Here's a word too. Dr. Chakwas, are you okay? Shepard, you... Of course. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. <laughs> Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Jack. Jack was made for this. That, you know, he went through so much to get these biotic powers. She's, she can do it. Jack and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? He can do it. He's badass. Um, okay, so I think Morden, who is a doctor, can also help the people go back to the ship. I'll keep the defenders busy while you slip in the back. What about me and the rest of the Oh, crew? fuck! We're in no shape to fight. Shit! Made the wrong decision. Okay, so first you pick somebody to uh, be a leader again, so we can pick Miranda again. In pass. We'll Who should lead the diversion team? Okay, actually, because I want Miranda to be in the final team, for reasons, we'll choose somebody else to lead the team. Is Jacob good for this? I don't trust him. Let's have Garus. I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Yeah, Morden. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Okay, so I want Miranda and uh, Legion. Moving out. Stay close if you want to live. Two hundred credits. Wow. Put that in the bank. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander! You know, you could make a smaller field. It doesn't have to be that big. It could be like around us. We could Incoming! be huddled up together. It's fine. Go. Move, Commander. Ready 
is a badass. Oops. We are the harbinger of your destiny. No, I don't want you to go there. Let's go. You can do it. shot could be a real firefight I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out Fuck them up, come on. Target eliminated. Where's the ammo? All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Fifty seven. Come on. Moving out, Commander. Come on, go, go, go. Perfect. Perfect. They've seen us. Let's go, 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 go. Come on. I can see the entrance. Need to get there soon. I'm ready, let's go. Okay, good. See? You can do it, she's a badass. Do you copy? Come on, Shepard, where are you? I copy. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're 
We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm here, Commander. Chuck was in the rest of Rip. the show. Yo. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. Okay. Alright, so as I said, I want Miranda, but uh, since I can, I'll get Garrus too, since he's my bro. I'm ready, Commander. Same here. Anything to say before we do this? The collectors, the reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything. Everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes <laughs> down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Yeah. Well said. Let's go finish this. Final fight. Enemies incoming. I've seen us. Gotcha. Short-sighted, bitch. Shot ready. Now that one. Not a problem. Is nothing, Shepard. I'll take the shot. Watch out. Watch it. Why are you here, girl? Go to cover. No, 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 here. Understood. Oh, God. Okay. Amo, 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 amo. 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 There we go. Let's do it. Final boss. This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? Just any reaper. A human reaper. Precisely. It appears the collectors have processed tens of thousands of humans. Significantly more will be required to complete the reaper. 
What did the Collectors gain by turning humans into this Reaper shell? They may be facilitating the Reaper equivalent of reproduction. Or it may serve another purpose. I do not have the data to speculate further. However, it is clear that the Collectors are merely pawns. The technology and ability needed to create this Reaper is not their own. It is likely that different species construct each Reaper. In this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help We the know that they're they not really Protheans. Probabilities suggest they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Possible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. So it's not alive yet? We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse, and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We gotta take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming! On our right! Let's go! Connect. Shoot the injection tubes. Okay. Shoot the Shepherd to ground team. Status report. It's they. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do, and you acquired the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework, could no. save us. It liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short-sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources. What are you gonna them. do? Turn people into goo? Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to yeah. your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. 
Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. I'm not an evil being that turns people into goo. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. Wow. Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for Look you. Look at that you growth. Look at that character growth. He grew a backbone against uh, the elusive man. Let's move. We've got 10 minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What? Did not see this coming. <laughs> Get in cover, bitch! Oh my god! Enemies in front! I got it! Where is Garus? Garus, are you even shooting? What's up? Hello? That's a lot of health. Whew. Don't slap me. Don't slap me. Don't slap me. Where is Miranda? Hello? Oh. You just hanging out? Okay, cool. Okay, almost there. You cannot resist. This hurts you. Hey yo, did it. Oh shit. Now we're besties. You turned down servers for me. We are now besties forever.
I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Wow. Holy shit, we did it. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Shut up. You earned it. You get the help you deserve. And what about the rest of humanity? Your ideals have cost us more than you can imagine. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Yeah, right. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. Whatever, man. I know what you are. And the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming. And he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside. But don't get in my way. Yeah. You're sure that's what you want? You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. Yeah. I don't think so. I'm gonna stop the Reapers. But I won't sacrifice the soul of our species to do it. Goodbye. See you never. Look at that paragon sky, the uh, sky sun. God, Jack is so beautiful.
Salah. Hey. We did it. We finished Mass Effect 2, the main story. We're gonna do the DLC next session. Ah, so what did we think, guys? I think Mass Effect 2 um, is considered the best in the trilogy for a good reason. The story is uh, very strong. The decisions you make being so impactful with the squad and stuff is also very fun. The atmosphere, the upgrade in how it looks visually is also wonderful. For the Legendary Edition, I think what I noticed the most is uh, the lighting was really upgraded in everything. Yeah! Was upgraded in pretty much everything, like you could tell every scene had uh, a different lighting than in the original Mass Effect 2, which was a very nice detail, like I, I kept noticing it uh, in scenes, so that was really cool. I personally like the first game the best still, I don't know, you know, maybe nostalgia. So I like the story of the first game and then the combat of the third, so that's great, because now we're gonna play the third game soon. Story was more captivating. Yeah, um, most people say that the story of 2 is so is the best in the trilogy, and I definitely see where they're coming from. So, honestly, Zeno, if you're looking, since you clearly like the Mass Effect games you played, Mass Effect 3 and Andromeda, I would definitely recommend you play Mass Effect 1 and 2. The original should be dirt cheap now, or you could just get the Legendary Edition, which is still like a pretty good price and it goes on sale a lot. Battles was too. Yeah, they were pretty good. I personally don't like the combat it too, but you know, it was fine. So, yeah, any lurkers, this is my YouTube. Feel free to subscribe there for a ton of playthroughs of RPGs and lots of other games. And I hope you enjoyed your time here. <laughs> okay. Feed that fish. This. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching Mass Effect 2 next time. We're gonna do the final DLC, The Arrival, which ties in with Mass Effect 3 really well. Can't wait to play it, so we have a complete story before going into Mass Effect 3. I can't wait. Remember, remember to like and comment, subscribe if you haven't and all that stuff. You can also follow on Twitch if you haven't to catch me live. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye!